Hey guys, how's it going? It's Riley here at Wandering Willow Farms, and today I'm excited to talk to you guys about one of my favorite plants, which is yarrow. So yarrow is a really awesome perennial. Um, it does well in our area especially. There's even some native varieties, so if you take a drive out in the desert, you might even see some yarrow growing wild. Um, so it's a great plant for attracting in pollinators um, because there is some native species pollinators are attracted to this plant and there's a lot of different hybrids and colors available on the market today so you can kind of find any color that you want and you'll find something that matches your garden space so right now in the nursery I just have two different varieties of yarrow left so I'm going to show you what those ones are this one here is called coronation gold and I really like this one because it has bright yellow flowers but the leaves are actually kind of a bluish silvery green color so even when the plant is not in bloom, the foliage really stands out and makes a nice contrast against the other green plants in your landscape. So I think this one is a great one to have. And then, like I said, yarrow is super hardy plants. So this variety here is hardy all the way down to zone 3, which is negative 40 degrees. So you can grow this one in a, a lot of places. Um, this one will get about 36 inches tall by about 24 inches wide. And then what's even better about this plant is it just blooms and blooms all summer long. So you might have to do a little bit of deadheading as it might lull a little bit, um, but generally speaking this is going to be a really powerful perennial that's going to give you lots and lots of color all summer long. And then next I have a variety. This one's from Proven Winners and this one is called Firefly Peach Sky and I really like the color on this one. It's kind of a unique color, um, kind of a, a pinkish with a little bit of an orange hue to it. And this one is another one of my favorites. And this one is going to get about 32 to 36 inches tall and about 28 to 32 inches wide. So it's going to be pretty similar in size to the Coronation Gold, but it has a different color on the flowers. And then the leaves on this one are more of that regular yarrow green as well. So um, you can even plant these next to each other and you'll have some contrast in the foliage and the flowers if you wanted. Um, and then this one, again, is hardy in zones three through eight so another super super hardy plant and then um, pretty standard with the yarrow you're going to want to give them full sun they like lots and lots of sun they do really well with heat um, they do phenomenal here in our high desert climate so you don't really have to worry about the hot summer weather with these guys and then once they're established they're pretty drought tolerant as well so you're not going to have to give a ton of water to these once they're established in the first year in nursery containers they do develop a pretty extensive root system so I know when they're in pots they're usually some of the first plants I have that start to dry out. Once you get those in the ground and they get established they're pretty drought tolerant so it's a great option for people who are wanting more of a water wise garden um, but they also do well in like your regular garden beds as well. One thing to keep in mind with these guys is if you give them too much water they do tend to grow really fast and they shoot up um, and they can kind of flop over on you. In front of me here you can see a planting of yarrow. These were actually planted last summer and they were planted from gallon sized pots. They're a plant that looked just like this one and then you can see how big they've gotten this year. There's four plants right here and you can see that they filled in really nicely in just one year. So this is a plant that's going to come and it's going to fill in your garden pretty quickly because it is a quick grower. And so this one is same variety that I have here in my hands, Coronation Gold. So these ones here are probably about 30 inches tall this year. So they're not quite at their full size, but to be that much bigger than they were last year, that's pretty impressive for a perennial that is still establishing itself in the ground and growing. This is a super great perennial that I think everyone should have in their landscape. And like I said, it attracts pollinators, but it's not, a lot of people when we talk about pollinators, they think of the honeybee which is actually not native here. Um, so a lot of plants that are considered to be great pollinator attractors are great for the honeybee, but a lot of our native bees and other insects that pollinate don't really like some of the more common plants that are designated as pollinator plants. But the great thing about the yarrow is that a lot of those native insects do come on the yarrow and they'll utilize the flower. So if you want to have a great plant that's going to be not only really spectacular to look at but also great for your pollinators and just the overall health of your garden i definitely recommend that you go with yarrow so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope we'll see you later have a good one